What's up, everyone? Jazz Roganzo here with another episode of What's Next. This is an update of a viral video uh, that millions of people saw and they got a kick out of. Why? Because it made its point. But unfortunately, things have turned sour for the gentleman involved. And uh, a lot of people are not liking it. A lot of people are angry about it. I'm a little pissed off about it because I think it's just stupid and insane. But let's take a look. This comes out of Gateway Pundit. I got this last night on my feed. Officer who went viral with video mocking Labroni, Karen James, has been fired. Yeah. That's a gentleman right there. The Bellevue, Idaho police officer who posted a hilarious video mocking LeBron James was subsequently suspended for a week over the harmless joke has now been fired from the department. Friends of officer Nate Sylvester believe that the city has been looking for an excuse to fire him during the, during, during, I'm sorry, due to the political pressure easily. They needed a scapegoat. As a Gateway Pundit previously reported, Sylvester was suspended for a week over his viral TikTok video responding to the basketball player's threat against a cop who was involved in a fatal shooting of an armed teenager who was in the process of stabbing another girl. Yes. Let's take a look at the video in its entirety. Dispatch, I've arrived at that disturbance. We have LeBron call my cell phone right away, please. Thank you. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. No, no. can you put the knife down, please, sir? Sir, no, 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 sir, don't stab it. No, no, stop stabbing it. Stop, oh, hold on, hold on, it's LeBron. LeBron, hey, you got to me again. Listen, I'm out here at this disturbance call, and there's a guy trying to stab another guy with a knife. What do you think I should do? Why does that matter? Okay, uh, well, they're both black. One guy's trying to stab another guy with a knife. Deadly force is completely justified. Uh-huh. I see. So you don't care if a black person kills another black person. I love it. I absolutely love it. Dispatch, I've arrived at that disturbance. We have LeBron call my cell phone right away, please. Thank you. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. No, can you put the knife down, please, sir? Sir, no, 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 sir, don't stab it. No, no, stop stabbing it. Stop. Oh, hold on. Hold on. It's LeBron. LeBron, hey, you got to me again. Listen, I'm out here at this disturbance call, and there's a guy trying to stab another guy with a knife. What do you think I should do? Why does that matter? Okay, uh, well, they're both black. Guy's trying to stab another guy with a knife. Deadly force is completely justified. Uh huh. I see. So you don't care if a black person kills another black person. You do care if a white cop kills a black person, even if he's doing it to save the life of another black person. I mean, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Then again, you are really good at basketball, so I guess I'll take your word for it. All right. Yep. Okay. All right. Thanks a lot. Michael Jordan's the go. What? No, then I gotta go. Sorry, guys. Nice. That was Officer Sylvester. Uh, Sylvester, excuse me. And his amazing video regarding the shooting that occurred in Columbus, Ohio, regarding the police officer and the girl who was going to stab another girl. The cop saves a life. And yet, this guy gets called out for it, suspended, and now fired. Yeah. So Vester's best friend, Gannon Ward, started a fundraiser and trying to raise a few bucks so that his friends would not be uh, put out um, any pay over the joke. People rallied and raised over half a million dollars on his GoFundMe for him and his family. He subsequently ended a book deal about his life as a police officer in these crazy times. Now, here comes the fun part. The mayor who is believed to have been pushing for his termination, posted on the city's official Facebook account about the firing, writing that he had violated police policing policies and claimed that it had nothing to do with the tone or tenor of his speech that he posted online. He was not terminated for his content of his speech. He was terminated for failure to follow clearly laid out and well-established policy. Mm. This is from the mayor's office, I think. Uh, during, the, during the week of May, uh, May, 12, May 20th, while on the shift, Deputy Marshal, Deputy Marshal, we're not talking officer, we're talking a Deputy Marshal, 
Sylvester violated uh, several clear, uh, clearly established city of Bellevue and state of Ohio policing policies after his previously, after his previous policy violations. Deputy Marshal Sylvester was placed on probation and was on what is called a quote last chance agreement. Interesting, with his superior officers, because of his continued policy violations, Marshall was terminated. I mean, Marshall has determined. Uh, Marshall has terminated Mr. Sylvester. Wow, can't get the words out this morning. Excuse me. Effective May twenty seventh, twenty twenty one. The decision was solely made by the command structure within the Bellevue Marshal's office and was not influenced by any way by me or the city council. We were informed of the decision, as in his previous incident, left the final decision making to the marshal and deputy marshal. The city council and I respect the way the marshal runs our department, and we are supportive of a decision that made in regards to consequences for not following poli po police policy, the mayor added. Uh, Ward thinks that's bullshit. Nate has known has Nate known since LeBron James' TikTok video that his job was in jeopardy. He heard through the grapevine that the mayor was coming for his job and wanted him fired. So really, it was just a matter of time. Honestly, neither of us are surprised that it happened. But really, uh, but it just really upsets uh, that they were able to do something about it and blame something as trivial as using company equipment. End quote. Ward told the Gateway Pundit. Obviously, we were really hoping that it didn't get to this point, but that's why I started the GoFundMe in the first place. Ward also noted that Bellevue, where he was an officer, is literally one of the only blue towns in the entire state of Idaho. Shocking. Nate and I were on the phone uh, talking this morning, and our honest opinion is that this is all over politics, facts, just because he supports policing uh, and policy force in general. Nothing he has done deserves getting fired over, Ward said. My thoughts. They needed a scapegoat. They needed a scapegoat. So the mayor conveniently fired Sylvester because of police policy, because of police equipment, and not over his performance. You notice that the mayor mentioned nothing of his performance. He mentioned police policy. Well, I reiterate, they needed a scapegoat and they got one. But the fact of the matter is, you know, to quote Star Wars, when Obi-Wan Kenobi got struck down by Darth Vader, if you strike me down, I will be more powerful than you can ever imagine. I think that's the I think that's the quote. I'm not 100% sure, but you get the gist. This is a mistake by the clown mayor. But he has no problem defending himself or taking himself and the city council out of the mix and throwing Sylvester's superiors under the bus. No problem with that whatsoever. But if it turns out to be true, what his friend Ward said regarding a blue town in a red state kind of makes sense. But this is actually, this is just totally stupid. It's just totally effing stupid that I posted yesterday on Facebook that this guy who has been who has done nothing but do his job in that state in Idaho nothing regarding his performance whatsoever was an issue but because he did a TikTok video on Karen you know clutch I'm sorry pearl clutching James he gets fired well suspended then fired but you have Lebroni James who runs around calling out a cop in Columbus, Ohio, who saved a girl's life from another girl who was about to stab her, who happened to be a white cop, marks out on his Twitter page, you're next, in caps, and then puts hashtag, 
accountability. But yet, LeBron James still has his effing job. The team could have suspended him. The league could have suspended him. But no, because he's LeBron James, you know, the self-proclaimed goat, which he's not. He's a clown. Michael Jordan is the goat, as Sylvester said in his video, mockingly, which is facts. We have what we have. So, uh, sadly, uh, Sylvester does not have his job anymore, but unfortunately, he's got a book deal coming, and I'm sure that either he will be hired privately by a security firm, by a security firm of some sort in Ohio, um, I'm sorry, in Idaho, or elsewhere, who knows, um, but it didn't have to come down to this. And the mayor should be called out on it big time because the mayor is a clown. He's an ass clown. And once again, let me say it for a third time, he needed a scapegoat and he got one. Uh, but uh, we here at What's Next support um, Deputy uh, Marshall Sylvester and his uh, his friend Gannon Ward. Um, so and it's, of course, you know, prayers to his family uh, that everything will go uh, right for him uh, because he got screwed. He got screwed over royally. And with that being said, I'm Jazz Gonzo. This is what's next. Want to see more just like this? Please leave a comment below. Like it. Share it. Subscribe to it. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.